it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So this old man crazy. He's making money, but he crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man like, I'm about to go back in here. This God is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man getting scratching. He had him held down. Just before my man was about to pass out, he raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? He said, I wanted to breathe. He said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it bad and then you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to work. I don't sleep. So I got an opportunity to make the dream become a reality. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Why is that thing? What does that mean?